हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द इन न्यू सीरीज ऑफ दृष्टि आई आई एम रितु एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एन इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी व्हिच इज व्हाट आर द फाइंडिंग्स ऑफ चंद्रयान थ्री ऑन द मून एंड दिस टॉपिक इज इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम जी एस थ्री परस्पेक्टिव सो वी ऑल नो दैट ऑन ट्वेंटी ऑफ अगस्त इंडिया हैज क्रिएटेड हिस्ट्री एंड चंद्रयान थ्री हैज लैंडेड ऑन द साउथ पोल ऑफ द मून एंड इंडिया हैज बिकम द फर्स्ट कंट्री टू डू सो सो बट आवर मेन जॉब इज दैट वॉट आर द फाइंडिंग्स ऑफ चंद्रयान थ्री ऑन द मून that is it carrying such experiments or not so for this this topic has been decided and we are going to discuss this topic so moving to the points of discussion so first of all we are going to discuss about the news and the relevance of the news and then we are going to discuss about the list of the elements it has found so far and then we are going to discuss about 4 meter diameter crater it means that how crater is creating hindrances in smooth functioning of the rover and then we are also going to discuss about the what are the findings in the lunar temperature after that we are going to discuss about the lips technology and then practice question for prelims and mains so moving to the news part so we all know that on 23rd of august india has created history and the lander of the chandrayaan 3 vikram has touched the surface of the moon and it has touched the south pole of the moon where no country has reached so far so this is the news and then what are the findings of chandrayaan 3 mission on the moon that what kind of information or it is going to provide so we all know that south pole of the moon uh, is highly frozen and highly dark area but still the isro chief s somnath has said that there can be presence of human and humans can colonize that area and they are going to find out the water and so many other elements through which life could be possible on the moon so this is the brief news we are going to discuss in today's lecture so moving to the next slide so next slide is about list of the element that which kind of the elements it has found so far so it has found about the aluminum sulfur calcium iron chromium titanium manganese silicon and most important oxygen also which is very important for the life especially the human life and they are also going to find about the hydrogen so they are in the process to find about the hydrogen if they will know about the hydrogen or presence of hydrogen then our work would be easy to know about the presence of water on the moon or especially the south pole of the moon so this is the list of the element so moving to the next slide next slide is about 4 meter diameter crater so when we were discussing about that why isro wants to explore the south pole of the moon so the first reason is that no country has reached so far the second thing is that the area is highly unexplored because of the lack of water lack of light and so many frozen state so because of that the area carries lots of information and isro wants to know about all those information and how we can carry the scientific experiment in the south pole of the moon but there we also got to know about that there were so many craters present on the south pole of the moon and because of that any country could not carried out their experiment and crater is creating hindrance in smooth functioning of the rover so they also got 4 meter diameter crater on the south pole of the moon but what happened that isro has changed the direction of the rover and now it is carrying out the experiment in a different direction so this is brief about the crater so moving to the next slide next slide is about lunar temperature so what kind of information they have given about the lunar temperature so they have find out that the temperature ranges from minus 10 degree celsius to 70 degree celsius and they had got minus 10 degree celsius underground and they had got 60 degree celsius above the ground so this is a brief information about lunar temperature the rover has given to us and the name of the rover is pragyan so moving to the next slide so next slide is about lips so this thing is very important it can come in your prelims exam so what is this lips technology so lips is a scientific technique that analyzes the composition of material that you know if any material is find that which kind of composition it has and also exposing them into the intense laser pulses and when there is a presence of laser pulses then it's very easy for us to know about different kind of the elements because in a molten state or in a plasma state they will get lots of information about the elements so this is brief about the lips technology and how this lips technology is helping to the rover and how it has been used by the chandrayaan 3 scientist so moving to the next slide so next slide says that you know chandrayaan 3 lips technology has been used in it and rover is carrying out in situ experiment and measurement because of the lips technology so what is this in situ experiment so in situ experiment is that the experiment carried out in a original place so there 
वॉट एवर द एक्सपेरिमेंट वी आर कैरिंग आउट दैट इज कैरीड आउट ऑन द मून इट सेल्फ सो दैट्स वाई विद द हेल्प ऑफ लिप्स टेक्नोलॉजी द चंद्रयान थ्री रोवर इज कैरिंग आउट द एक्सपेरिमेंट एंड दे हैड गिवन द इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द प्रेजेंस ऑफ सल्फर एंड डिफरेंट कॉम्पोजिशन ऑफ द सल्फर एंड डिफरेंट कॉम्पोजिशन ऑफ वेरियस मटेरियल सो बिकॉज ऑफ दिस लिप्स टेक्नोलॉजी वी गॉट लॉट्स ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ एलिमेंट्स एंड इन फ्यूचर ऑल्सो वी विल गेट सो मेनी इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट इट सो मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड तो नेक्स्ट स्लाइड इज अबाउट प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन फॉर प्रिलिम्स कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट रिगार्डिंग चंद्रयान थ्री सो फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इज इट हैज एन ऑर्बिटर द सेकेंड इज द शेप टेक्नोलॉजी हैज बिन यूज इन इट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट गिवन एव इज आर करेक्ट सो योर ऑप्शन आर वन ओनली टू ओनली बोथ वन एंड टू नीदर वन नॉट टू यू हैव टू आंसर दिस इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड सो नेक्स्ट स्लाइड इज अबाउट प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन फॉर मेन्स द मेन्स क्वेश्चन इज डिस्क्राइब द चंद्रयान थ्री लैंडिंग ऑन द मून एंड वॉट आर द बेनिफिट इट हैज ब्रॉड फॉर इंडिया सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट दैट वॉट इज चंद्रयान थ्री लैंडिंग एंड वॉट वॉज द प्रोसीजर एंड वेन इट लैंडेड सो यू हैव टू गिव ब्रीफ इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट चंद्रयान थ्री सो वी ऑल नो दैट चंद्रयान थ्री इज अ थर्ड लूनर मिशन ऑफ इंडिया एंड इट इज अ सक्सेसिव प्रोग्राम ऑफ द चंद्रयान टू एंड इट हैज बीन कैरिड आउट बाई द इसरो सो दिस इज अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट द चंद्रयान थ्री एंड देन यू हैव टू डिस्कस अबाउट द लैंडिंग ऑफ द चंद्रयान थ्री बिकॉज दे आर आस्किंग अबाउट चंद्रयान थ्री लैंडिंग सो वेन इट लैंडेड सो द विक्रम लैंडेड ऑन ट्वेंटी थर्ड ऑफ ऑगस्ट and after that what we did that you know after the landing the rover is carrying out in situ experiment and it is giving lots of information about sulfur aluminum magnesium titanium oxygen also and it is in the process to find out about the hydrogen so this thing you have to discuss about chandrayaan 3 landing and what are the components it has that it has one uh, lander and one rover and the name of the lander is vikram and the name of the rover is pragyan so this is a brief you can discuss about the chandrayaan 3 and its landing and then coming to that what benefits it has brought for the india so the first of all the india has joined the elite club when chandrayaan 3 landed on the south pole of the moon because india has become the first country to do so and it has also joined the club of china america russia who has successfully launched the lunar mission so india is a part of now elite club and then you can also discuss about that what are the benefits it has brought the first benefit it has brought that india has inducted itself in the moon economy because this experiment and this landing is not just limited to india it has become worldwide and now so many moon economy will be created and so many space technology will be created and that will helpful for the moon economy and now india will highly contribute from it and india has become inspiration from the moon economy and it has provided many businessmen to business on this particular topic the second thing is that india has given inspiration that never be upset from your mistakes because in chandrayaan 2 we had committed few mistakes and in chandrayaan 3 we had corrected such mistakes so india is becoming inspiration in that thing the third thing is that india is becoming leadership in space technology and it is also providing private sectors to contribute in the space technology so it has opened the doors for the private sector also and india is also creating example that with less form of economy and the with less number of the people how you can create space technology and how you can reach to the moon so in such way and it has created better picture for the india in the space world so these are the benefits india has availed from the chandrayaan 3 and in the future also india will avail and it is finding out about lots of experiments about the sulfur and so many things it is going to find out which is going to be helpful for the whole world so these are the benefits i hope you like this lecture if you have any queries related to this lecture kindly ask in the comment section thank you